family, and welcome back to the Ebony Odyssey. My name is Jermango Long, and I am a servant of the Most High God. I appreciate you coming along, and as always, enjoy the journey. Today's topic is, what did I do? Uh, my support scripture for this is Acts 31, verse 33. It reads, Then the chief captain came near and took him and commanded him to be bound with chains and demanded who he was and what he had done. Now, you don't have the whole story, but this story relates to Paul when he uh, was just coming into the uh, church in Jerusalem. He had went in, uh, he was preaching there, and all of a sudden someone came up, uh, recognized him from some other some other place, and what they did is they they went at him, uh, and they went to beating him. And uh, when the guards came in, the soldiers, the Roman soldiers came in. Uh, that was the first thing the chief did. They put him in chains, and then they demanded who he was, and what he had done. Um. My thoughts on this is I left America and, you know, I was a soldier uh, in the United States Army uh, until I was injured. Uh, and then I served my country in other capacities outside of that. Um, and all this time I've seen so many things go on. And not everything I've seen has happened to me. Some things I've seen from afar, some things I've seen up close, but I have seen things and things have happened to me regarding, you know, these thoughts that, hey, you are guilty till proven innocent. Ah. And if you read the scriptures, you'll know we, we don't get any justice in this world. We get justice when we are with God. So we have to endure and we have to get over and we have to uh, just keep pressing forward. But at a certain point, you get tired of going through the day to day and you 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 have this uphill battle and you're just trying to get to the next place in life and it just seems like it's somebody holding you back it's somebody beating you down it's someone not letting you succeed ah i could go on and on about this but you know for you guys who understand what i'm saying or have been through some of these things that's what it is. And I'm not saying that everybody's like that or everybody would um, make this assumption. But sometimes, you know, at the end of the day, we are brought in front of people and we're already bound and put in chains. They're demanding who are we after being put in chains. They're trying to figure out what we've done after being put in chains after being judged, after being ridiculed, and it's it's just what it is. If they would do this to to Paul, they would do this to to God, they would do this to Jesus, they would do this to uh, any one of us. So, you know, we just have to be mindful. We have to be wise. We have to be understanding of the times we're in and coming here to Africa, trying something new, going forward with what God has put on my heart. You know, it's an opportunity to not be in that same stereotypical, you know, predicament. And this is all I'm saying. I'm not saying that it's perfect. I'm not saying that it is the end all be all because you know it has its ups and downs and it's and it's not it's it's another struggle but i am saying it's a struggle worth taking for those who want to see what else is out there who want to try something new god has put something in you if he's tugging on your heartstrings get your house in order get your house in order and see what god has in store for you and that is going to be the only way that you feel that you're not bound in chains 
before they know who you are or what you have done. You have a fair shot. You have an opportunity to move forward without a stigma, without a connotation that this person is in somehow, you know, bad in some way. Here you kind of blend in if you have the same color skin. You blend in. You blend in well. And so it's not till your speech betrays you that they know, hey, this is my brother from another country. But it's still, this is my brother or my sister. So just keep that in mind. I thank you as always for listening to me. I appreciate you supporting what I do. I thank you for all the encouraging words, um, you know. So at the end, I don't want to hold you guys long. As always, I want to thank you guys, and I want you to enjoy the journey wherever it may take you. Wherever it takes you, enjoy it. Thank you guys, and have a good day.